Sometimes you'll want your signers to wait until a specific period of time has passed before they can sign your document. In the past, this required manual action from the sender of the document who had to track the number of days that had passed since the recipient first received the document so that they could update the envelope and finally the signer could sign. But in a fairly recent update, DocuSign released something called delayed routing, which allows to automate the process. And we'll talk about this today and how you can set it up. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Sofian Saudi. I'm the founder of Solution Consulting, where we help companies save hundreds of hours using DocuSign and other automation tools. So if you need help setting up your DocuSign templates, integration or account, you can book a strategy session with me using the link in the description of this video. And if you're just starting with DocuSign and aren't sure how templates and power forms work, I recommend that you download my free DocuSign Mastery Cheat Sheet because it will show you how to get started with fields, recipients and templates. You can download it using this link and you can also uh, find it in the description of the video in case you've just missed it. But for now, let's just go back to the topic of this video, which is delayed routing. So let's say that I want my signer to view this envelope and then wait for 14 days before they can sign it. I'm going to set them up twice in the, my recipient workflow, but with different recipient actions. So the first thing you wanna do is to make sure you've got a signing order in place. And so the first recipient is gonna sign in position one, but actually they're not going to sign. They're going to receive a copy of the document. And so what this means is that DocuSign will just send them a document as an attachment to their inbox and there won't be any recipient action for that recipient to take. However, what we wanna do is we wanna add another recipient and that recipient should be the same person. So you can add the same first name, last name and email. And here, that's the needs to sign action that you can add. You wanna make sure that this signer, I mean this recipient is in position two. And you also wanna add a delay. And a delay just um, adds itself in between and this is when you can decide how many days or how many hours or until which date you want to delay the envelope to move from that recipient to the next. In a sense, it's exactly the same recipients, the same person, but they're going to get two DocuSign notifications. So let's just say that I want my recipient to wait three days after this recipient has received the envelope for them to receive a request to sign. Well, that's exactly what I've done here. So my first recipient received a copy and then three days later, the same recipient um, uh, needs to sign the document. And so from here, you would just click on next and then configure your fields and everything else as usual. Nothing changes from here. Just add your fields and you're done. In the next video, I'll show you how you can send your DocuSign envelope by text message rather than emails. So hit subscribe if you want to be notified. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.